Founded in 1543, Antigua served as the seat of Spain's colonial government until the Spanish crown ordered its relocation in 1776. She says they don't have water in the town of Santa Maria de Jesus. She takes the chicken bus from Santa Maria down here with all her things. She makes the laundry. When she finished, she's going to put everything in the bucket, wet, and back home. The Vanya is right at the top. She is untiring, unrelenting. She's going to make us see things even if we don't want to. And she has an incredible wealth of information. Okay, we're going to get inside the market over here in this area. I am a mestiza. I was born originally in El Salvador, so I am a mixture between the indigenous uh, communities, in this case the Mayan community and the Spaniards. In four different countries, they are able to um, learn a little bit more about the Mayan and to really discover that Mayan people uh, are still with us. They have never collapsed. They evolved. We're going to go to our bus, get the things for the school, and then go visit our school. wonderful school. It's a very relaxed atmosphere for the children. It's very natural. I like more of this informality feeling here. I think it's good for this type of community and for these children. And it makes you feel good that this is happening and they're getting an opportunity. The children are going to invite you to be part of our festivity. So they would like to invite you to dance. So let's like this. It's part of everything I've seen about Maya, that they carry the culture, they're trying to keep the culture alive with the children, uh, teach them the language, the dress, uh, so that it doesn't fade from the planet. to a special area and then I will give you time to spread out and to buy what you have to buy, okay? Can I see it? What is it? It looks like sticks. Although a foreign local market can muster more questions than answers, the experience allows time for street interaction and occasionally new treats. Angelitos? Marshmallows. <laughs> Good stuff. It's fruta. fruta. See, si. uh, how do you, how? Mm -hmm. Just the colors and all of the fruits and vegetables. It's beautiful to look at. Anybody else would like to try Chico? I'm going to try Yeah? Mm, now that's good. It's good. The day in the life is one of the most spe special days that we travel through Central America. Today is the opportunity for our passengers to meet with the local uh, Mayan communities and to interact with them. They're going to have the opportunity to go inside the local homes, to meet with the people, to see how they live, uh, what they do. Oh, absolutely. It was the highlight of the trip. The host, very welcoming. The food was wonderful. She seemed, she, she seemed nervous at first, but once we got here and we began to enjoy ourselves, then she relaxed too. Calor 
en cinco días. We have in this community 100 families of Santa Catarina Barahona that are involved in this special activity. Yeah, he says that, you know, sometimes only one or two in a month. I'm getting more than, than I would if I just came as a, a tourist on my own here in Guatemala. I don't know if you have heard a legend in Guatemala about this famous worry dogs. Mm -hmm. Worry dolls are traditionally used by children who cannot sleep. They are told to tell their worries to the doll and place it under their pillow before sleep, where the doll will carry off all their worries during the night. It just broadened our appreciation of other cultures, other people. The Mayans, creators of a complex writing system, a calendar with detail equivalent to our own, predictors of eclipses, and builders of the tallest structures in the Western Hemisphere, all over 3,000 years ago. Today, let their ancient world extend its impact to you.